Hi, my name is Jimmy Sin, and I'm here with my partner, Jessica Malik, and our lovely guest, Eileen. Welcome to Asian Media Network. After a year of being in pandemic, we all want to go back to normal. To get back to normal, we need to go back to work. The statistics shows that many employers are having a hard time hiring employees, and many states have issues new orders. And in Arizona, on May 13, 2021, Governor Doug Ducey and the Arizona Department of Economic Security have announced the Back to Work program, which will end the federal unemployment benefit of $300 a week on July 10th. So these incentives are meant to help those transition from unemployment into a new job. Our guest today is Eileen Nguyen, and she is the president of eTax and Insurance Agency. And she's here today to help us answer some questions we have about the Arizona Back to Work program. Hi Eileen, thank you so much for being here. I heard there's some incentive with this Back to Work program. Yes, um, there's gonna be cash bonus, child care, and education incentives for those who qualify. That sounds wonderful. What is the cash incentive bonus? So Arizona will set aside $300 million to offer a one-time bonus to individuals who return to work full-time and 1000 for part-time. The bonus will be given when an individual left the unemployment and complete at least 10 weeks of work or 320 hours for full-time and 160 hours for part-time. And in order to qualify for the bonus, they have to file unemployment by May 15. And they also have to work on their new job between May 13 and September 6. For the child care incentive, how does that work for parents? So the state will provide three months of child care for those who qualify. One of the qualification is that the indiv the individual have to earn $25 or less, so equivalent to a salary of $52,000 a year. And less for education incentive. Uh, the state will also uh, provide about $7.5 million for community college scholarship for those who qualify as well. So am I eligible to apply for more than one back to work program? Yes, you may. So you can apply up to the three incentives. And for independent contractors who use the 1099, do they qualify for this back to work program? Uh, per DES, potentially they may qualify as well. I see. So let's say that I go back to work on Labor Day, after Labor Day, which is September 6th. Am I still eligible for this program? You have to go back between May 13 and before September 6th. I see, so I just wanna emphasize that the working start date is May 13. Correct. But they must be enrolled by unemployment by May 15. Correct, yes. Correct. Well, if someone else needs help applying to this program, where can we find that? Uh, so they can go to azdes.gov and DES said they will launch the website by, by July 10th. So again for you guys, it is azdes.gov. Thank you Eileen for sharing this incentive information to us. Thank you for having me. And if we want things to go back to normal guys, let's get vaccinated, let's go to work. I'm Jessica Malik with my partner, Chi Sint, and our guest, Eileen Nguyen. This is the Asian Media Network. We'll see we'll you next, see next time. time. Thank you.